All right, what's up, YouTube? We are back with another secret layer. We have the Thomas Baxa. Hope I'm saying that right. Uh, foil edition. And Thomas is known for kind of some darker art. Um, I don't know why a card that comes to mind is like Blightning or um, what else? Yeah, he's, he's got kind of like a dark kind of scratchy looking style um it's very good i don't mean take anything away from it by saying scratchy but uh, i think you guys will see what i mean kind of a lot of detail a lot of like thin strokes and like dark shading and yeah he makes some kind of you know he's does a really good job on like zombies and skeletons and things there you go or Obnixilis reignited. So there's the old Obnixie on the front there. It says the foil, so they will be Pringle. Of course. Oh, oh at least they got the, the easy pull well, on the top. Uh, let's save the surprise and get on into it. What else do you do? Like Sliver, Hive Lord, uh, Obnixilis. Um, what else? I don't know why now I'm like blanking out. But we're going to find out. So, Obnixilis reignited. Mythic Planeswalker. Yep, and there it is. Oh, Sliver, Hive Lord. Whoops, skipped one. Okay. Sire of Insanity. You guys see what I mean about this, his style? Kind of not s scratchy, but like you see all these kind of wispy details. Um, Sliver Hive Lord. There it is. And we got a Spellskay. That is nice. That's a really cool version. Definitely a useful card. Jeez, that Pringling though. Look at those things. They're like. Yeah, they're bad. <sighs> you know. Oh, and we got an extra spells cat. I'm happy about that, actually. I will take that. Um, I'm curious about these secret layers. Let me know if you guys got one of these and you got something different than the spells kite. I always wonder when they do just like the the art version or the sketch version, whatever you want to call that, um, if they just randomly select one within the pack to do that too, or are they giving you kind of the most budget one to double up on? But either way, I appreciate it rather than just a, a basic land, even if it is a Johannes Voss land or something like that. Um, yeah. Why not? Basic secret art lands are cool but um not all that cool so glad to have the spells kit and i will open that because it'll probably get used if i can if i can get the pringling out of these things anyway i got a pretty good technique for it and i shared it in a previous video but just for gigs just for shiggles I'll show you guys kind of how I do it. So, uh, I always like to double sleep my stuff. Um, so that's the first step. And then, where's my other sleeves? What the heck? There you go. Then I'll go and, actually, do we have a better sleeve than that? Let's see, I think we do. Let's. Let's get one. That's not it. That's it. Just need the Ultra Pro stamp there. So we'll stick it in there. And then, gosh, you can see just how awful that is. So what I like to do is, um, rather than just sitting here kind of uh, 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 on it, I use the table, since the table will obviously a nice even surface. And then I kind of, get some tension onto the top edge there 
kind of use my fingers to guide, but once I get it kind of, once I get the tension, I will release the my fingers there. So that I'm kind of just pushing against the table, as you can see. And uh, that didn't do too hot, so I'll go a little bit further. And then what I'll do is, so I've noticed a lot of times I take these and I try and like really work the middle and then you get kind of this like weird like McDonald's Archie where it's like and kind of comes out in the middle and then bows on the on the sides again too. So it's actually kind of like right here and right here that actually where the most bowing is. It's like kind of right on either side of the center. So what I do is I put it down, I kind of use my fingers, I try and cover as much surface space from top to bottom with my fingers as possible. Sometimes I'll even do this just to make sure. But you can kind of just use the table and just kind of push it down and then I'll go ahead and flip the card and I'll do the same thing to the other side. And I think you guys will see in a second how important it really is to work the sides because bam, that is a world of difference and uh, it's still not perfect, but I think taking that little bit of time to do that um, and then typically, once I kind of give it that treatment and get it into somewhat of a straight, nice look, then, um, I'll usually try and stick them in one of these top loaders. Unfortunately, the pack I have right now, as you can see, kind of has a Pringle itself. Um, coincidentally, it's like uh, a vertical Pringle rather than horizontal. So, um, yeah, that's what I like to do to them. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, check back for more content. Also, uh, let me know which one of these you guys think is the coolest. Thomas Box has definitely got a cool style, and uh, I'm really digging this Spellskite and the uh, Sliver Hive Lord there. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a good day.